FAQ, what is police ethics? Welcome to Doc's CJ FAQs. Today, we are going to answer the question, what does police ethics mean? Police ethics are the principles and values that guide the behavior and decision-making of law enforcement officers in carrying out their duties. They serve as a moral compass that helps officers make the right choices while protecting and serving their communities. First of all, why are ethics so crucial in the world of criminal justice, particularly for police officers? Police are responsible for enforcing laws, maintaining public order, and above all, safeguarding citizens. Accordingly, ethical conduct is vital for gaining public trust and respect. Without trust, law enforcement agencies would find it difficult to serve their communities effectively. Additionally, a lack of ethics can lead to misconduct, corruption, and a breakdown of the justice system. Integrity is a fundamental part of police ethics. It means being honest and doing the right thing, even when no one is watching. Police officers with integrity don't abuse their power or take shortcuts that could compromise justice. Accountability is another cornerstone principle. Officers are held to a high standard and they must be accountable for their actions. If they make a mistake or commit an error, they should own it and take steps to correct it. Fairness is all about treating everyone equally, regardless of their background, ethnicity, or social status. Discrimination has no place in law enforcement. Fairness also means applying the law consistently and impartially. A code of conduct is a written set of guidelines that outline the ethical standards for police officers. It serves as a manual for what is acceptable and unacceptable behavior. After all, having a clear set of rules can help eliminate any gray areas. A well-defined code of conduct not only provides guidance for officers, but also helps hold them accountable. If an officer breaks the code, then there are specific consequences. This helps maintain the integrity of the law enforcement agency and, by extension, the justice system. The International Association of Chiefs of Police, IACP, adopted the Law Enforcement Code of Ethics in October 1957 during its 64th Annual Conference and Exposition. This Code of Ethics stands as a prelude to the mission and commitment that police agencies pledge to the communities they serve. Adopted more than six decades ago, the document continues to serve as an ethical benchmark for police officers. It emphasizes the importance of serving the community, protecting the innocent, and upholding justice, all critical components for gaining public trust. The IACP Code of Ethics goes beyond mere generalities. It provides specific guidelines on an officer's core duties. According to the Code, the primary responsibilities include serving the community, safeguarding lives and property, and respecting constitutional rights like liberty, equality, and justice. The Code makes it clear that officers are protectors, arbiters, and upholders of the law, giving them a high degree of responsibility. It calls on officers to protect the weak against intimidation, the innocent against deception, and the peaceful against violence, reflecting a deep-rooted commitment to social justice. The Code also places strong emphasis on the personal conduct of law enforcement officers. It states that an officer's private life should be an example to all, and that they should behave in a manner that does not discredit them or their agency. This part of the code underscores the notion that ethical conduct is a 24-7 commitment. Furthermore, the document highlights the importance of confidentiality, mandating that officers keep secret any confidential information unless its revelation is necessary for their duty. This protects the integrity of investigations and the privacy of individuals involved. Decision-making in law enforcement often happens in real time and under pressure. The IACP Code of Ethics sets forth guiding principles to navigate these tough situations. It urges officers not to let personal feelings, political beliefs, or biases influence their decisions. It promotes enforcing the law courteously and appropriately, discouraging unnecessary use of force and reiterating the importance of professional judgment. Officers are encouraged to act without fear or favor, illustrating the ideal of impartiality in law enforcement. Lastly, the code states that each officer is responsible for their own standard of professional performance and should strive for continuous improvement. This isn't just about professional development. It's about a never-ending commitment to ethical behavior and excellence in policing. Officers are encouraged to take every reasonable opportunity to improve their skills and knowledge, affirming that staying updated is integral to ethical law enforcement. In summary, the IACP's Law Enforcement Code of Ethics provides a comprehensive, well-defined ethical framework that has guided police conduct for decades. It covers everything from core duties and personal conduct to decision-making and ongoing professional development, reinforcing the critical role of ethics in effective policing.
One of the most immediate and damaging consequences of unethical behavior by police officers is the erosion of public trust. Law enforcement agencies rely heavily on community cooperation to effectively combat crime and maintain public order. When officers engage in unethical conduct, whether it's excessive use of force, racial profiling, or corruption, it severely undermines this cooperative relationship. The loss of public trust isn't just an abstract concept. It manifests in concrete ways. Citizens become less willing to report crimes, assist in investigations, or even respect law enforcement directives. This breakdown in community police relations hampers the overall effectiveness of the police force, making neighborhoods less safe for everyone. Unethical actions by police officers don't just affect community relations. They can also lead to legal consequences for both the individual officers and their departments. Misconduct can result in lawsuits against the police department, costing taxpayers millions in legal fees and settlements. Additionally, an officer found guilty of misconduct may face disciplinary actions ranging from suspension to termination and, in extreme cases, criminal charges. These legal repercussions not only strain the resources of a law enforcement agency, but also tarnish its reputation, making it more difficult to recruit quality officers and obtain community support for initiatives or reforms. Perhaps one of the most tragic outcomes of police misconduct is the risk of innocent people being wrongfully convicted. Unethical behavior, such as planting evidence, coercing witnesses, or falsifying reports, can lead to unjust convictions that ruin lives and families. The ripple effect of a wrongful conviction is enormous. It damages the credibility of the criminal justice system and erodes public faith in legal institutions. Rebuilding a reputation tarnished by wrongful convictions is an arduous process that requires systemic changes and transparent accountability measures. It's not just about rectifying a single instance of injustice, it's about restoring faith in a system that promises to uphold the principles of liberty, equality, and justice for all. New recruits receive ethics training as part of their initial education and training programs. Moreover, many departments require ongoing ethics training to ensure that officers are up to date with the latest laws and practices. The community plays a significant role in police ethics. Open communication between law enforcement agencies and the public can foster mutual respect. Additionally, community members can serve on oversight committees, ensuring that police actions are both ethical and accountable. If an officer acts unethically, the consequences can be severe. They may face disciplinary action, job loss, and even criminal charges. The impact on the affected individual and the community can be long-lasting. In conclusion, police ethics are more than just guidelines or rules. They are a set of moral principles that help law enforcement officers make the right decisions. They promote accountability, fairness, and integrity, making our communities safer and more just. Thank you for watching Doc CJ FAQs. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more insights into the criminal justice system. See you next time.